Sorry. You guys want to hear something crazy? <coughs> yeah. Turns out, as of today, the DOJ, Department of Justice, is suing Apple. Oh, yeah. Claiming that they have a monopoly and are preventing consumers from getting better services from smaller companies, tech companies, and stuff like that. Uh, they're saying that, like, it's affecting, like, it affects Android users with the, with, with the, when you have an iPhone user texting an Android user, they say it's less secure for the Android user, and... I saw a headline about this. I thought it was mm -hmm. about the payment stuff in the App Store. That, too. Sort of thing. That, that, too. They said, like, the tap to pay is also very... Ecosystem, yeah. Yeah, they said, like, how, like, PayPal and other places don't have access to, to that from iPhone and, yeah. or whatever, and, um... There's a, there's a whole list of things that they say iPhone really prevents, you know, people, you know. They do what they can to stop competition. Right. Yeah. And they say that it's to, it's for our security, for iPhone yeah. users, for that's what they say. Yeah. But they actually say that's actually less secure in some ways, and especially Android users when they're texting iPhone, whatever, iPhone users. So do you guys feel like Apple as a monopoly, would you agree with that? Do you feel who's forcing you to buy an iPhone? Right. Well, they say that it's that's not really the issue. They're saying that there's just a lot of features, like uh, as far as like if you want to like play certain app games or anything like that, like you can't really. I don't know. It's it's probably I haven't read it, but I, I'm sure I know where it's going. Mm -hmm. That uh, once they they once you have the phone they use all the leverage they can to force you into their own things instead of someone else's yeah right right some of use safari instead of chrome but it comes preloaded <laughs> and use apple pay by default and everything makes it harder to do competition for their payment stuff and every every avenue that you want to use your phone on apple has mm -hmm. a decent solution already by default yeah hard to get around extra steps to not do yeah. you can download chrome you can extra I've steps to not do safari Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time I've got a new iPhone, right? Because first thing I've done was Chrome. Because my Chrome yeah. is attached to everything else, so why wouldn't? I? Yeah, well, like, there, say, that's a lot of small things. Like to say, like on a MacBook, like if you have a Mac, however, you can get all your text messages on your Mac, like easily yeah. and stuff like that. But with like, I guess a PC, you can't really do that from an it iPhone. It does seem nice. Like I, I don't, I don't have mm -hmm. a Mac computer, but it would be nice. It would like sync up with iMessages. That's one. That's one reason I like. Messenger from Facebook more mm -hmm. is you can do it on your phone and if you're at a computer you can type regular full speed. Yeah. And they sync up real nice and smooth. But I'm so with Josh, no one's forcing you to buy an Apple phone. You can go get an Android. I you you can, but then you miss out on a lot like of what? features. It's not that you're forced to get a, to get an iPhone. It's that you almost get trapped into an ecosystem that's hard to escape once you get that. Mm. I think I, I just would, agree. I think I care more. If their features sucked. <laughs> yeah. But everything I've used from Apple, mm -hmm. and I'm not even like an Apple fanboy or anything, but I mean, I use the tap to pay, the, mm -hmm. I have an Apple card. Like, yeah. Well, they say it wasn't, nice. it wasn't even that long ago. They said like, I didn't even know, that you, supposedly you can get Spotify through Siri now, which for the longest time, now, I didn't even know we could do that now. But for the longest time, that was not the case. You have to, you have to have iTunes or the Apple, Apple Music. Apple has a music thing too. Through Siri. Yeah, and, 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 yeah Siri. Mm -hmm. and, and you only, like, Siri could only work on Apple Music. But supposedly, I didn't know this, a few years ago they changed that. Supposedly you can, I, I need to test it out. Supposedly you can get Spotify to work through Siri. But, I don't know, it's just like a bunch of little stuff that they're doing, whatever. And now the Department of Justice are claiming that they are, that, that they have a monopoly and that it's only going to get worse if they let it, I guess it's a monopoly, but it's still a minority of mobile users compared to Samsung. Mm -hmm. I don't think that really is a great argument for monopoly. I don't yeah. think so either. I don't know what it is, but it's aren't there more Samsung phones by yeah. the numbers yeah. than yeah. Apple phones? Yeah. So how how could one be viewed as, as a monopoly? It's probably know. a lot of anti-competitive practices. That's yeah. That's mm -hmm. what they would say, and yeah. that's I'm sure because that's exactly if I were them, what I would do. You just drive everything you can to your own services all the time. Right. Yeah, you limit competition, exactly, yeah. You make it hard to get around the Apple version of anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. And then they're, they're saying that, like, instead of go, do it, choosing the route of just having, you know, you know, reduce, uh, reducing prices, having, you know, they're saying that they're not, they're not actually trying to make their products better. And then it's just, they're kind of basically just gatekeeping is what they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is what they're doing. And there's competition that might be better, cheaper, or free. Mm -hmm. Then you do all you can to make it not exist. Right. Matt's Android costs more than my Apple phone. Yeah. <laughs> Just say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't feel like this is. Yeah. Do they, do they not have but, their own stuff? But I feel like. But uh, but maybe Samsung. Do. Do, but maybe Samsung does a better job at making all of their products available for everything so every so you know it's a little more of an open system and it's not like you have to get an apple thing it's once you invest all your life apple right into an iphone yeah, because you do argument now oh and i it's, totally get that it's just hard to but i don't necessarily agree with like they force you to use all your own services like i don't use apple music i don't use safari mm -hmm. i i mean yeah i use the iMessage, but that's because it's just good yeah like I, do you I think you have to jump through extra hurdles to That's, not use their services or not really no i just i yeah sometimes if you open up a link through like a text message or something it'll automatically take you to like safari and stuff but yeah mm -hmm. I, my chrome is on my front page mm -hmm. my spotify is on my front page i don't really know if i yeah. even do you use do, apple music once i think i deleted apple music. And you, do you do the tap to put the with your pay yes, all the time absolutely. but but you can use your paypal or i don't yeah. care to use paypal uh, well i don't use like, paypal well see that and that's what they're they're saying like if even if you wanted to use it because every time you use your your apple pay they get a percentage of that every yeah. single time instead of or you know it's costing you a little bit at a time every time you do that where if you were using like paypal or something else like another third party service they wouldn't take out as much so it's so well, you pay the same, but the merchant. You pay the same. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm not paying anything different, no well, matter what service, yeah. what credit card or Apple Pay or whatever I'm mm -hmm. using. And part of it too is uh, like in the App Store. But well, didn't Fortnite have some lawsuit with them not long ago or something? They were taking profits from the Fortnite store. Well, well, because yeah, because they they want all the money to flow through their stuff. So of course they get a cut of that. Mm -hmm. And like, why why would you have to pay money through their service or process your money through their service when you just take it directly? Of course, if you, yeah. if you want to play ball in the app store, then you play by these rules. Mm -hmm. But take that up with Fortnite. Then. It isn't. Yeah, I think it went to like a. Maybe it was a, a free huge. Court it was a high case, court yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what they decided. I don't remember. I forget. Yeah. yeah, I just remember being a super big deal. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's is it's their marketplace. It's their launcher. Like I know Steam is really good, and I know their kind of have a monopoly on like the pc gaming side mm -hmm. but that's because they put out the best product for developers consumers everybody mm -hmm. like i feel like if you put out a good product and it works mm -hmm. you can kind of make the rules sometimes is it still that way with apps on the iphone because they used to make apps specifically that were better for the iphone than they were for the android is that still the i don't know mm, i don't know i know that was like was the way it was well this is just like a same story different day yeah Maybe less i don't know 100 years <laughs> of some company that gains a lot of control over something and then tries to it's tries well onto that control yeah and they're probably the same company that when they were small would have fought and said no no one lets us in mm -hmm. then you get the big and you keep everything away as far as you can right because once you get power you just always want to keep it yeah are they not are those couldn't they be used as just like selling points for the iphone like isn't that part of it like you know if you buy an iphone like it's mm -hmm. you, you're doing it for the convenience like right for the, the user oh, interface. And, honestly, like, and honestly i think that's why buying an iphone is convenient it's why I, like I, that's it. why i prefer it because it's easy you you lock like when you get a new phone because i mean there used to be a time like, <laughs> like when you used that like back in the flip phone days and stuff you had to go back and put in all your contacts again and do, you know, do everything, set it all up. And that used to take like hours. Hit every button like three times to get the right Or, or whatever. Or, or sometimes they would, or sometimes they would ask you like, hey, you want to, like at the store, they would like plug it into something mm -hmm. and they'll. And it used to be just the phone number. Then you would have to go in and put everybody's name in. Yeah. It's, it's been very, you know. But now, <laughs> as soon as yeah. you get an Android iPhone. has the same thing. Yeah. Like Matt has the same thing. It's just not called the cloud. It's, it's I don't know. What it's so called. it's just Android developers and stuff want to. Mm -hmm. And other companies just want to put Here's their the, yeah 
the Here's biggest the funny part, though. Like every time I tell Matt that I have a new, because he has an Android. Mm -hmm. We all know this. He's the one that makes the chat green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every time I tell him we got a new feature, he's like, "Oh, he's like this," and he's had it for years on his phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know, but I don't know. Like me, like because of how convenient it is and how I have all my passwords saved and I have, it's, I don't think I'll ever go to Android. I don't no, because I'm obviously yeah. well invested. Got a yeah. watch, got AirPod, got AirBud, you know. Yeah. So even if like Samsung was to release like something that was, that blew iPhone out of the water, I don't even know if I would, because that convenient, that, because well, everything else is, you know, all my accounts, everything, it's, I don't know. You can transfer them over. I did. Yeah. I went from an Android to an iPhone, and yeah. is it, there's a smart transfer. Hmm. There's an app that you can do, and it transferred everything over. Really? Mm -hmm. They made it really easy to switch back and forth between okay. any type of phone these days. I'm just saying. Yeah. It, that that you know, I, I have an iPhone, and I'll stay with it because obviously I, mean, I have a watch, I have an iPad, yeah, and the AirPods, <laughs> you got everything <laughs> that's already there. Yeah. yeah. And Matt feels the same way about his Android. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, Got a tablet, got a watch, got got his Galaxy Buds. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to switch when you have thousands of dollars invested yeah. mm -hmm. into that product. Yeah. So either you're going to be one way or the other. Yeah. So you guys don't, <laughs> you don't see an issue with what Apple's doing, really. No. no. It bugs me a little bit, but it's what every big company does. <laughs> That's so a, it's yeah. not a, I mean, Google does the same thing by... Driving everything they can to their own stuff to so what do you Microsoft th drives all they can to their own stuff to Amazon does all they can to drive their own stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah. Facebook, everyone does the exact same thing. Mm. They all try their hardest, and Apple might be the best at, at the game they're all playing. Yeah. So why do you think the Department of Justice, what do you think they're really mad about? They probably it it can stifle competition. Mm -hmm. Because it's if you come up, say, with with a feature that could be really, really good and innovative, and A, if it's close to something that Apple has, then you might end up with an army of lawyers coming at you, which is scare the pants off you. Even if, even if you might have a good defense, you'll just lose in appeals and run out of money before they do. Yeah. Option one. <laughs> yeah. or, or two, they won't even put it on their own devices, mm -hmm. or they'll, something which could be cheaper or freer or better, Freer, cheaper or free or better, which they will not play ball with because it interferes with their own stuff, which can be, which can hurt the consumer. Yeah. I feel like though, if it's a big enough deal, it would just be like what Europe did and just made it to where they ha all have to abide by like the charger laws, you like could. the USB C. I, I think we're way too rogue in America for that kind of living. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think that the charger argument was a valid one. It is a valid one, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're no, yeah, it's just like it's just designed, and that's that's like a little symptom of all this stuff, right? Let's have our own style for chargers. Well, why? Why do you have to have this charger that no one else uses when they can all be <laughs> yeah, together? Be make it anyway. universal. It'll all be C anyway, so yeah. Does it have to be C? Mine's not. I still have a ten, so I'm not. I can't wait till I get a new phone so I can use the the C. Mm -hmm. So much better. I feel like the ones the ones I'm using now are so brat. They bend so easily. Mm -hmm. But well, it's a better charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, they, it could be that Apple's worth like three point three trillion dollars, and that's <laughs> mm -hmm. and they want a cut of that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They want all the cut of everything. It's all <laughs> right. Money. It's always called that money. Yeah, I know. All right. I don't have anything more to add to this. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Did not even know this was an issue? Oh yeah. This is just really just came out.